now let's get back into some Shogun. If you are one of the regulars that come through to watch me read this, welcome. Get cozy, get comfortable. We're going to be here for a little bit. And let's get into it. Wait, a fifth degree yokai? I remember where we, I don't even remember where we stopped. When was the last time? I think it was like over a month ago since we read this. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been doing some stuff if, you, if you've noticed. It, it, my memory is going to refresh. Don't worry. Let's see. Uh, wait, a fifth degree yokai? Where? You, bro. You, you're the, you're the fifth degree. You. <laughs> where? You're the fifth degree yokai. Word. What, what did you hit your head too hard? I'm not a yo guy. Look at me. I'm a regular dude. Nah, you're a yokai, my guy. Yeah, you look like one, but your kanjo says otherwise. In English, please. I don't know what this banjo thing is. <laughs> your kanjo, bro. You are a yokai. Ugh. Okay. I guess there's no harm in explaining. Let's envision kanjo's body heat, okay? You know how animals radiate body heat? So do humans, yes. Mm hmm. Yeah human oh wait too much human come on so we got human yokai and then you let me zoom this out a little bit because it's it's fucking me up there we go okay i just use this to scroll way easier yeah okay human you yokai humans and yokai radiate two different types of body heat kanjo and your body heat is currently radiating the heat of a yokai instead of what it should be so he's half yokai half human okay let me turn this off because it really does uh, mess with my uh, mic interference. Okay. What did he... And you're, okay, we read that. A human. Hmm. You get it? No, he does not get it. You see that face? Looking like he's getting it. He's not getting it. You get it now? So it's like a selling... So it's like selling a salad. Huh? In a butchery. Huh? Looks like I'm... I'm not the one with the concussion. Yeah, word. Where'd you get a salad? What? <laughs> huh? You calling me stupid? A little bit. It's not ideal having somebody this little. Sorry. It's not ideal having somebody of this little intellect learning about Kanjo, but. Oh my goodness. She scared the freak out of me just there, bro. Damn, Erin. We may not have a choice in the matter. We're not aware of what to expect next. That's reassuring. Shiji, the ambulance is waiting for you. Hmm. He don't even look like he want. He need the ambulance. He just he just got scuffed up a little bit. Did you call him? No, I was gonna I was gonna, but I got jumped. I wonder who it was then. Maybe a passerby. Yeah, he's not he's not impressed. That's an unimportant discussion. Where's the ambulance? Just around the corner. I see. Hmm. So I'm guessing you're that guy's peer or something. Partners? I don't know. Duck. Quack? No, no, duck. Manigit. I'm glad she grabbed his head. No, they mean crouch, idiot. They? Oh, they. Her pronouns. They, her. How do you, how do you, how do you address someone with the pronouns they in, in a, like. Oh, their pronouns. Their, okay, their pronouns. Okay. Damn, it's so weird. That's, I don't use pronouns, bro. That's odd. But, I mean, to each their own. Uh, 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 what they duck? What they duck? Oh, it's a yokai, and it came fast as freak. Two kanjo readings. That was a bird? He used his yokai to save himself. Both of them are out of my range. I'll handle it. That bird jet thing is like a good 50 meters away, man. What are you gonna do with the sword? Did you not see how? Oh no, he didn't even. Uh, uh, Taiko didn't even see uh, my man take down that big one in like chapter three, I think it was. Fifteen meters, perfect. That's his. Like, that's literally his range. Fifteen meters, steadfast stra- Oh shit! Why did you hesitate, Shiji? I used up all of my kanjo. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Erin, handle it. Handle it. My 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 mouse is just frozen. My my mouse is just frozen. Mouse. Thank you. Bro. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Thank you. Unfortunate. We will need to send a search party. That's not good, is it? No. 
Shiji, you're aware of this person's abilities, yes? Remember to inform Corbin and the others. I see why Erin goes by they, because right now, I can't even tell if she's male or female. I'll be real. She's androgynous at the moment. I think I used that word right. Not a single person was saved today. Not a single fucking person. Why the fuck was I sent out instead of Erin? They're way more competent than I am. <laughs> Don't you start with that shit. He's gonna punch the freak out of you. One of them get back into your senses, bitch. Bam! What'd I say? What'd I say? Ooh, face right into the ground. I don't sense any oddities with that M Mondo's employee Kanjo or anything. He seems to be functioning just fine. She, you could have dodged that easily though. Yeah, but he didn't want to. Did he get punched back? Oh, <laughs> I thought you got punched right the frick back. I'm right. I'm literally right here, dumbass. You saved one person. At least don't be so fucking hard on yourself. I'll punch you again. Now I have to write you in, in my will or some shit. <laughs> and you know this guy inside, like externally, he may come off as a shallow, I want money, I want fame kind of guy. But internally, we know, we know, he, we know how he is. Damn, you just expended all your energy for that one paragraph, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. What, do you want to put him in your will? I'm guessing that you two are done. I would like to talk to my tutor, so will you be coming with me now? Huh? Sure. Shiji, I will not be able to accompany you at the hospital. That's fine. I wanted to be left alone with my thoughts. This dude is creepy, bro. Emo as fuck right now. Hey, you don't gotta be so blunt about it, shorty. I go by Aaron, not shorty. Don't get mad, they're just like that. Mm, scary. She is scary, bro. They, they are scary. I'm sorry. I'm new. Can you walk faster? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So everyone's going their separate ways. We're now at the ADP facility. My tutor will be, the f will be at the first door, you see. You'll talk to him there. This place is huge. Well, it's a freaking facility, bro. I'll be off now. I have some matters to attend to. What kind of... It doesn't concern you. Straight off. Cut him off. Yo, RDK, if there's one thing you do beautifully that I love, bro, it's these faces. I love these faces, man. What? Why is this person so hard to talk to? Because it's Aaron. Just beware of what? My tutor. My tutor's a fucking dumbass. Are you talking about Corbin? Oh, damn. Are you talking about Corbin? Hello. One of your students sent me. Yeah, Corbin. Okay. Oh, hey. You must be the... You just know he's unusually strong. Like, you just know it. Look at dude. It's always the ones that, 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 that don't have a care in the world and they're just lazy. They just... For some reason, they're just always strong, bro. I don't know. Uh, you must be the Mundo's employee. Where's my number five, Hotaro? I would have gotten if I would have gotten it if the building didn't blow up. No! Mi numero cinco. He speaks Spanish now. Bro, you see what I'm saying about these faces? RDK, we love it. They were right. Chapter five end. Chapter six, get into it. Oh, we're nearly caught up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. What's up? I'm Corbin. Hotro and Eren's tutor. Hotro is the angry one in the pigtails, okay, and Eren's the short one with the extended vocabulary, okay. I see, I'm Taiko, ex Mondo's employee. I love how he said ex. Cool, cool. Let's skip to the more exciting matters. Taiko, you might be detained. Uh, detained, let's go. Why is he let's go in? That's not a good thing, bro. <laughs> RDK, never stop with these faces, I beg of you. <laughs> Bro said, huh? Exciting? How's that exciting? I'm not going to be put in a cell, am I? Or solitary confinement. I'm innocent, I swear. Calm down, it's not as bad as you think. You're aware of Adler, right? Alder, sorry. Ah, there's another thing on Netflix I watch, and the person's called Adler. I need to remember this is Alder. Huh? think so. He's a chief, right? Yeah, so he's going to be very cautious about you since you're giving off yokai vibes. 
and he's literally half yokai. So he'll most likely keep you in here for some time. From Mondo's employee to convict. Today just today's just been one L after the other, huh? You're just gonna be put in one of those free dorms. You'll be fine. Just make sure you don't put him in the next one in, in the one next to mine, Corbin. Yo, this is giving me big JJK vibes, you know. Uh uh UG gets taken away from his everyday mundane life and he gets put just thrown in this situation and now he has to live with two other people classmates peers in a, you know you, you get what you get where it's going uh you don't put him there that, that, huh i like my personal space oh otro that was quick god you've seen better days not really bummer well since you're probably gonna be here for a while Taco, i guess i'll tell you about some of our history Hmm. Hmm. The eyes. We used to reside in a place called the Antidepressant Educational Institute, ADPEI, ADPEI for short. But due to unfortunate circumstances, we had a fight with the chief. Shut it, Hotolo. <clears throat> we had to narrow everything down by building new smaller buildings around different cities. And since we're in the city of Murbury, this specific facility cost a fortune to build. We're trying our hardest not to damage it too much. Wow. That's a massive city. Huh. So they got one, two, three, four, five in the city. I see. Prices in Murbury are ludicrous now nowadays. A shack here can go for the same price as a mansion anywhere else. What the freak? Yeah, that's like London. Like you get a semi-detached house for like 450k, but then you go to America and you can buy like a stupid fat crib for the same price and still have money on the side. It's ridiculous, bro. Uh, that's where I live now, actually. You'd wonder why nobody just moves to Wendon since everything's so cheap there. But then you remember that the people really only live in Murbury because of the huge amount of jobs and, well, Wendon's kind of barren. I heard that Wendon doesn't even have a Mondals. I have no idea where these places are, bro. Can you believe that? They don't have a Mondos? That shit should be illegal. That's why I love it so much. It's so new to me. Hmm. This guy likes Mondos a bit too much. Must be a luxury getting to live where, wherever, huh? Since you're an ADP and all, you don't got to worry about a lack of jobs. Yeah, luxury with a chance of your death. You always have people's lives within your grip when being an ADP. And those lives can cease to exist if your grip isn't strong enough. <laughs> We do this for um we do this more for the good of humanity than to live comfortably. Hmm. This isn't a luxury. Not one bit. He's right, you know. Let's say you had a choice in the matter, Taiko. Would you decline if we gave you the offer of being an ADP? I don't think he would. Oh yeah, definitely. After hearing what Hotaro just said, this all seems pretty whack. It's taken me a while to acknowledge my own limits, and after coming to that cl that close to dying so many times, my final thought is. You'd never see me doing this by choice in a gazillion years. Yep, that's understandable. But maybe, possibly, perhaps, there is a chance that I'd do this willingly. If the answer you give is good enough. Huh? How good is the pay? I was speaking good on your name earlier, bro. I was speaking good on your name, bro. Now you're talking about money. That's the personalities don't just change, you know. He likes money. I like money. Fuck. <laughs> bro, the faces, bro. They're just on point, bro. That completely goes against everything you just said. Relax. Ever heard of a window? Ever heard of window shopping? I'm just seeing what I'm in for. Yeah, let him get a taste of his options, you know. Huh? That's not what window shopping is. Well, if you were to join, you'd start off as a trainee. You'd get a bursary every week. So I'd like to change my answer then. You seriously only do this for the money? I mean, hey, don't put words in my mouth. That's only like 60% important to me. Then what's the other 40? Well, you're doing all this ADP stuff for the good of humanity, right? Then let me try to do that too. You never know what will happen. I mean, he's half your kind now. Might as well let him. You're actually just going to be sitting there rotting and it's just a waste of talent and ability. Okay. Now that this has all been settled, Hotoro, be Teiko's tour guide for a bit. Huh? Why me? 
nobody else is available so but you're standing right there bro well not for long <laughs> lightning sound effects i was just about to head out to tell older about Taiko. i try and convince him not to go too hard on you don't worry damn dude is fast whoa purple lightning oh and oh yeah and the only available dorm is right next to yours sorry yep yuji and uh and uh megumi all over again literally what the fuck corbin well mr tall guy where will we be heading first oh kitchen nice whoa bathroom whoa outside area whoa your dorm now getting whoa uh. oh that was quite rude make sure you don't make uh, too much noise because i'll be recovering in my dorm oh right i've been meaning to ask what happened back there you know in the park the only thing i remember is feelings is, is feeling searing hot pain everything going completely dark and i'm being stomped on hmm otro you good otro you fine i'll tell this dude and he's fr the fuck so he turned me into a yokai and tried to tame me that's fucking insane yeah yeah that no, no, no. It's, it's insane yeah it is insane it is insane i'm not gonna lie there we go that should have been that that the whole thing you see why you might be detained now yep also that shizu shizugumi member is being hunted down right as we speak me and everyone will be on the hunt as well starting tomorrow hmm. move or talk one more time okay this was the flashback on what you said before yeah let me in on the hunt too oh he definitely wants to find him Hmm? It's Kanjo. Wait, no. Oh, uh, did he j It's that yokai again. Hmm? Its presence is so strong that it's an... It's as if it's standing right there. Okay, that's just its presence. I thought he transformed. Oh, I thought he summoned it. I was like, what? <sighs> you're definitely a dangerous individual. I'll give you that. But you're not going anywhere. You're nowhere near useful as you are right now. Yeah, you need training. You need to... You can't just, you know, UG may have just went out, but, you know, train, bro. I have one of those Kanjo things, don't I? Is that not good enough? And UG is kind of, like, UG is kind of different. Like, he, he's actually smart. Like, yeah, sure, he didn't, he didn't know about curses and all that stuff and all the stuff he needed to know. But the common sense, it was there in abundance, you know? And he's intelligent. He's just he's just a smart guy. I, li I like the I like the character development of Yuji. It doesn't work like that. You don't instantly know how to drive when it's your first time in a vehicle, do you? Also, since you don't have human kanjo, we don't know how well you'd be able to you be you hope be able to hone it if you actually were to train. Shit. But that guy he threatened to turn every kid in the orphanage around town into yokai's, and mine could be one of them. I don't care. Your situation isn't the only priority. Not only do we on, do we only have criminals like him to deal with, we all we have yokai too. They're manifesting they're manifested from bad events that happened in the past, and there's no way to entirely stop their manifestation. It's essential. It's essentially an endless cycle for all of us to deal with. This font is really hard to read. I know exactly how it feels to prioritize the safety of things that are close to you and you only. But we don't do that here. We can't do that here. Everything is a priority to an antidepressor. <sighs> Why are they called antidepressors? Huh. Now go get some rest. I've been talking for too long. Wait just a sec. Huh? You got some spare clothes? I can't sleep in this uniform. Oh. Fair enough. Which arm did you lose? Rega regalo? Regalo? Regalo. Which arm did you lose? Regalo? Who the freak is Regalo? Please don't tell me you lost the, uh, nah, I only lost my right. Okay, so this is Regalo, Regalo. Regs, I'm gonna call you Regs. The weeping palm still intact. Oh, thank God, the yokai didn't break it. That thing really fucked your shit up, huh? And it didn't even seem like it had any sort of intelligence, judging from what you told me. I don't know about that. It's as if it felt disrespected after I told you to obey me. And it smiled at me when it backed me into the corner. Huh. Truly, who does it think it is disrespecting its father like that? I brought it into this world and I, I easily took it out. Yeah, you didn't though. 
still there. Calm down, Regalo. The ADP are already on the move. They'll sense your killing intent. Don't worry, the Weeping Palm is actually pretty good at soaking that good old killing intent of mine up. If I didn't have it on me, then... Oh boy. Yeah, the fact that your true side still leaks out every once in a while says a lot. I'm going to go and get some shut eye for a, few, for a week or so. I need to recuperate. A week? Damn. What about your missing arm? Don't need it. I'm left-handed. I'm dead, bro. Anime characters are just built different. I don't think that should stop you from fixing it, but you do you. I'm going to be using the weeping palm a lot soon. Anyway, I have a family of 100 by the time I'm done. Found a new hotspot. Multiple, actually. I still wish I could have transformed that ADP. He's been on my mind ever since I last saw him. Those looks he gave me spoke a thousand words. It was as if he wanted me dead thousands of times over. Oh, yeah, for sure. And don't worry, you're not special. He gives everyone that look. It was exhilarating. I don't know why he had so much killing intent, but it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. All I want to do is see him again. I'm joking. I'm joking. Fuck. Damn. I need him to be my kid. Hey, yo. That's kind of... I ain't... Hey. I ain't judging, bro. Chapter 6. End. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. RDK, you've done it again, my friend. We do only have one chapter left, so I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... Back off a bit, let him, you know, bring out another chapter. That way we can keep this on a roll. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. I appreciate you guys a lot. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I post. And it does help me out a lot. And I will see you beautiful specimens in the next video. Peace.